As a Bahamian, I know how incredibly important fisheries are to our culture. Fisheries provide food, support livelihoods, and maintain biodiversity within our ocean. For decades, Nassau grouper have been one of the most important fishery species in the Bahamas and wider Caribbean, generating millions in revenue every year. But heavy overfishing of its fish spawning aggregations has decimated Nassau grouper populations. They are critically endangered and face an extremely high risk of going extinct. The Nassau grouper is perhaps the best example of a species that forms fish spawning aggregations to breed or reproduce. FSAs, or fish spawning aggregations, are so important. They're like underwater havens where hundreds to thousands of fish gather to reproduce for just a few days each year. For fish that aggregate to spawn, like Nassau grouper, this is their only way of reproducing. The Perry Institute for Marine Science has been studying Nassau grouper in the Bahamas since the 1980s. In the mid-1990s, that's when I first started studying Nassau grouper, looking at those nursery habitats, seeing where they were, why Nassau grouper were living in those areas, and then how they began to move out as they grew to reefs as adults. In the early 2000s, this work continued, and by 2010, we were revisiting some of the spawning aggregations that were first documented in the 80s, and we saw a dramatic decline from the earlier studies, and actually an absence of some of these spawning aggregations. This research is what went into establishing the closed season for Nassau grouper in the Bahamas. We also did a number of studies where we actually tracked Nassau grouper from where their home range was to where they would go spawn to see how populations were linked and found that the fish stayed pretty much in a very small home range area for most of the year, all except for about two weeks when they make spawning migrations and they would migrate from throughout the exumas primarily to those Long Island spawning aggregations that we had studied earlier. We also found that the fish really wouldn't make those migrations till they were about 54 centimeters big. That's a size a little bit bigger than the current minimum size of fish, which is three pounds in the Bahamas. So the scientific research and conservation work we conduct under PIMS's Fisheries Research and Conservation Program really uses a suite of techniques and interdisciplinary approaches to support effective fisheries policy and governance and we're using those approaches to help rebuild Nassau grouper populations. Recently, a lot of our research has been focused on genetic connectivity and validating these reported spawning aggregations for Nassau grouper and for sites that may be used by other species as well. That's what we refer to as multi-species fish spawning aggregations. Sustainable fisheries means a sustainable future. And that means continued economic benefits, food security, biodiversity, and all the cultural benefits. The work that we do has real world applications. These are things that we're currently recommending to government. One, the closed season needs to include these times when fish are migrating to spawn. Two, making sure that we are protecting fish so that they do get to spawn at least once in their life to help replenish the population. But to do that, we need to raise the size limit as well. Our research can and has been used to guide informed policies that advance species recovery, promote the conservation of critical habitats like reefs and mangroves, as well as to help prioritize enforcement efforts for organizations like the Department of Marine Resources and the Royal Bahamas Defense Force. We really hope to be able to continue this important conservation research with the support of our local and international partners. Protecting FSAs is in everyone's best interest. Here's how you can help. Respect fishery regulations and say no to Nassau grouper during the closed season. Support science-based regulations for Nassau grouper and other aggregating species. Speak up. Report issues like illegal fishing to the Department of Marine Resources, Royal Bahamas Defense Force, and the Royal Bahamas Police Force. Visit our website to report FSA sightings and donate to support our fisheries research. <laughs>